Hi everybody. Guess who's back? I came back. I fired him and rehired him. I'm I didn't happy. even know I was fired. I just came to work and she let me stay. Thanks boss. I can't do it without you. I need you to do my conversion rates for the pounds to dollars. I'm on and it. And pronounce words that I can't pronounce. I'm on it. So today I'm going to show you some new yarns from the wool warehouse and Woo! if you are new to my channel thank you for joining me the wool warehouse is my favorite yarn store that is outside of the united states because i do live in the states they're excellent and not only did they have some new yarns they got some killer deals going on right now especially well today is 7 29 2021 killer deals going on on a lot of yarn but also some killer deals on rowan yarn and if you know anything about me rowan Noro and West Yorkshire Spinners are my three favorite yarn companies in the whole entire world. What am I doing, babe? In no particular order. You're rowing. Rowing, your favorite thing to do. <laughs> Anyways, they had some excellent deals on other yarns too. And then I wanted to show you the new yarns that they had. All right, we're going to, have to go ahead and start. Now, their site like is based in the UK, so it's set up for pounds. Uh, pounds. But they have a com you can convert it on their site to whatever dollar uh, if you use Canadian. You can change the currency. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna give you the prices in U.S. dollars since that is where we offer them. What's the first one? So this was new. This was called Style Craft Recreate 100% Recycled <clears throat> Yarn. Wow. I love that mustard color. Look at the little flecks of color in it. <coughs> So, yeah, made for style craft, licensed in Turkey. Made for style craft, in, licensed under Turkey. Say it again, say it for me. Made for style craft, under license in Turkey. That's what I, see what he's here 100 for? grams, ball weight, 350 meters, or approximately, beep, boop, beep. 350 meters? Yeah. Uh, 350, 60, 70, 80, about 390 yards. 30% polyester, 40% wool, 30% acrylic. What weight is this? Double knit. It's a DK. Which no, is, Donna Karen. No. <laughs> I used to think that's what that meant. I never thought that. DK it stands for double knit, which is just an, is what we call in the States a lightweight three. So, um, that's a nice uh, three weight right there. And I love the mustard color with the flex. I love yarns with flex in it. Um, flex, the, yeah. the flex are not going to come off this very easily. I can tell they're pretty woven into the yarn and that's a lot of yardage all right so this is really pretty the color i have here is called dijon i love uh, mustard color five dollars and 55 cents 54 cents 554 now it's not a bad price considering a lot of times recycled yarns are more money because of the process that they have to go through and i think for 383 yards of a dk it's a wool acrylic blend recycled that's not bad and it feels is it grabby it smells like wool spongy soft clean it feels uh, scarfable, mm -hmm. but you can tell that there's wool in it. Yeah, not bad though. But it's not nothing I wouldn't, I would wear a scarf out of it. It's not uh, grabby, but it's not real spongy. It's nice, I like that. Yeah. It's a nice, that's a nice recycled yarn. Oh, another thing I like about the wool warehouse is they ship in these organza bags. In case you haven't noticed, I'm on an organza bag kick. I've been putting all my yarn in org <laughs> organza bags now. Next up is Shipsies. Shipsies. I can't say it right. I know. Don't have to tell me how to say it in the comments. I can't say it right. I'll never be able to say it right because I do not have that Dutch accent. But I'm just going to say shipsies. I know that's it, correct? I didn't put that in my resume when I signed up to work at BOD. What? That you knew how that to... That I knew how to pronounce that? That you had that Dutch accent? I specifically put that I didn't know how to pronounce that. Oh, that you didn't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Anyways, I think I've shown this maybe to you before. But I wanted to get some more of it because it's so beautiful. Uh, it is really nice. It's Man, that's so this awesome oh this brown like one right is here. so pretty. Yeah, that one's good too. Woo! Okay, so this is their Wonderlust. It reminds me. I always say sometimes of Red Heart Unforgettable. I say this a lot because it's a roving style. Um, it's not quite as shiny, but it's still shiny. Red Heart Unforgettable, but nicer. Is that the Chicago? That's what I say. So, yes, okay, it is uh, 232 meters, 100 grams, machine washable and dryable. 100% acrylic. 100% acrylic. $5.54 also for that. $5.54, I don't think that's a bad price. You got 232 meters, 32, 
uh, 42, 52, about uh, 245, 50 yards. That's my guess there. It's so pretty. So you think that's a good price? Though? Yeah, I do. Considering what people pay for Unforgettable and Lion Brand uh, Landscapes, which is kind of similar. Uh, this one is, is it classified a four weight? Double, DK. Double. A three weight. Okay, so it is a little bit lighter weight. Yeah, you can see that. But as with all rovings, it does go from thick to thin, so you'll be able to see some thick spots. Yeah, there might be a little bit close to four in there. That hit four right there, and then you'll see some that maybe even go lower than a, than a, yeah, than a, uh, uh, see like a, yeah, that's just the nature of the roving. That's the nature of it. It's just the way she rolls. Okay, so this one I got is called Chicago. I got, a, I got Chicago because that's pretty. Because since I'm from Illinois, I thought I'd better get one, because they're named after towns or and stuff. Uh, I thought I better get one that was named after a town in my home state. So that's Chicago. Very pretty. It's kind of like grapey, isn't it? Yeah. Great bunny. I, like I like it. Okay, and, and this one is Havana. Cool. Cuban. Capital Cuba? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I love that brown and that purple. That one is gorgeous. It's got dark purples, light purples, dark browns, and light browns. Ooh. Pretty. It's like... Bag o' day meets rose likes rose likes crochet. It is. It's bag o' day crochet meets rose likes crochet. Do you guys know who it's, Rose is from a, Rose Likes Crochet? Chimeric yarn. She is a purple lover. I'm the brown lover. Rose, if you're watching, this is our yarn right here. Check out Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. You'll love her. And this one is called Amsterdam. That's beautiful. Ooh. I like the purples and the oranges in that one. And browns. I'm a big fan of those orangey, folly, mustard, yellows, browns, those colors. I like that purple in that too. And then I got one latch, which was my absolute favorite. Well, Amsterdam's the capital of the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They're just, Are these all capitals? Because Chicago's not the capital of Illinois. No, they're just uh, cities and towns from all over the place. I see. Well, so. And then we got Vermont, so it's just cities, capitals, states, it's, it's, yeah, just okay. places. Not all capitals then, because of Chicago's not the capital. What is the capital, Illinois, babe? It's Springfield. <laughs> okay. You know that. Make sure you knew your own state. They okay. would be upset if I didn't know that. Okay, this one is my favorite. I am definitely, I bought actually bought six of these, which would be enough for me to make something big, and I already know what I'm going to make with what it. What are you going to make? What are you Look make? at that. It's a secret, babe. I don't, I don't tell my secrets. I know I've asked this before, but what's the deeds in my head? Hey. I keep it on the down low. Oh. Low down. Isn't that pretty? I know. If, if you don't like brown, I love brown though. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. There's green and yellow in it. Wow. That's the thing with these yarns. You never know what you're going to find inside. That's cool. Oh. And those are my colors of green and yellow right there. I it's like, like surprise the, yarn, huh? the asparagus looking green. And oh, that's going to be pretty. And it's going to be in your inner circle. I thought we had this little trust thing there since I work at Bag O'Day. Oh, I, thought I, I thought I could know what the projects were. There's some more of the Vermont. Look, you can see that yellow in it. In Apparently, it. I don't have the clearance. You don't get to know. And it's a secret. You'll see nice me when though. I'm making it. That's my I favorite. Like that. That's so pretty. Okay, let's move on. Keeping those. The other ones might end up in giveaways, but those are mine for the keeps. The Vermont, definitely. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, there's one more color of it. Oh my gosh, crikeys. This theme would be Clark swallowed an avocado. My dog swallowed an avocado. That would be the theme of that one, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one's pretty too. This one is called St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. Okay. Um, that is beautiful too. More browns and purples. I was on a brown and purple kick on this one. That's pretty. I like the white in it. It uh, gives it a, a pop. And these are all the same price, right? The pop, yes, the pop people. color. So, yeah. yeah, look for these in giveaways later after I, when I start doing giveaways again. But um, again, it's 100% acrylic. Yeah, it's nice. That's pretty. Okay. Double net. Next, um, this was new, I do believe. I don't know if it was. Marble? Wool, the wool. World, world of wool. World of right? wool. Marble. Say it 10 times fast. I can't. World of wool. 80% merino wool, 20% silk, and it is a DK, which is a lightweight three. Is it made, the 23 micro? Is that what it says? 23 micron. Made in uh, York, Yorkshire, UK, Yorkshire, UK, 
hand wash, lay flat. Um, is it this? Is it the double knit too? Yeah, that's it. You sure? Because that looks like this a is MY15. No, it's a DK. It's not a DK. Hmm. So, yeah. Is that your pine cone? That like one's cool. pine cone. Yeah, this one is called pine cone, the collar. I thought it was beautiful. Um, yeah. Did you tell what it was? 80% wool, 20% mm -hmm. silk? Okay. How much? Uh, $6.60. Well, Wool of the World, it's, it's pricey, I guess, but Wool of the World is a nice brand. I do have World other, of Wool? World of Wool. I have some more of their yarns, actually, but I love wool, so it's pretty. Okay. Smells good. It smells like um, wool. I'm not smelling. I don't want to take that from you. I like it. Yeah, it's not grabby or anything. Uh, what's really the yard on it? Uh, nice. Did you tell them? Oh, I didn't know if I was supposed to tell them. 110 meters or beep, beep, beep. <laughs> About 120 yards. Okay, yeah. next up. Good job, robot wife. This is DMC. DMC makes a lot of the cotton uh, thread that you see, but they, they do do some yarns I also. Like DMC? <laughs> No Nova Nova Vita Nova, Nova Vita Nova Vita Four recycled cotton seed paper label plant it. Oh, you use the label to plant okay. seeds in. That's interesting. That's super cool. I've never seen a yarn company do that before. I like that. You use this label and you can put it in a bowl. And set your seeds on top of it and mist them and they'll grow in it you and then do that. once they sprout you just put the paper in, in your dirt with the seeds and everything with yeah. with the sprouts oh my gosh there's seeds in it yeah that's like that garden tape thing that i was thinking of that is so but cool. apparently somebody already invented oh my gosh i don't care how much this costs this was worth it this is uh the cool cool yarn I mean, the label is really cool. Mm -hmm. See the bumpies? Those are seeds. I wonder what it... Well, the paper biodegrades and then the seeds grow. So you just put this paper. You don't even have to put seeds on it. There's mm -hmm. my seeds. Water it. And then the seeds sprout. And then you plant them in a pot. I wonder what plant it is. It's cotton. Cotton? Isn't this 100% cotton? No. Oh, it's only 80%. This is 80% recycled cotton and 20% polyester. Recycled. Oh, it's flowers, I think. It shows a flower. No. 20% recycled wool. I'm sorry. That's the coolest thing ever. So this is like uh, kind of a macrame yarn. Uh, this, I think, would make a beautiful bag. That's probably what I will do with it. Uh, probably quick-like, so I can use that label up. It's 200 and... Um, 200 meters or about 218 yards so that's enough for me to make $13 and 18 cents that's worth it because of that label I don't know though but and I can get an I can get a bag out of that so yes that is the coolest thing I've ever seen you can use the bag to carry your gardening tools to your garden you know it's 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 stiff you know like a macrame yarn it's chain spun but it's gonna make a cool bag or you can plant your plants and then you can make a yeah. pot holder yeah. put your pot in it mm -hmm. that's what i'm gonna do with this you could put a terracotta pot i'm in gonna it. do this tonight i am going to plant these does it say what it sprouts no it doesn't but i'm you sure it's not cotton you like a cotton, cotton plant cotton seeds in here yeah well no i'll keep you guys updated after this is over i'm gonna put this in a bowl or on a plate i'm gonna spritz it i'm gonna wait for the seeds and when they grow i'm gonna make a pot thingy for this out well, of it all I can say is don't bleach your seeds, don't iron your seeds, don't tumble dry your seeds. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, here's some Rowan they had on sale. I love this Rowan. Yeah, I have some here. Cashmere. And I had to get it because it was uh, inexpensive for Rowan. So this is you the can't resist it. cashmere tweed made with extra fine merino and cashmere. Um, approximately 96 yards or 88 meters, hand washed, lay flat. 80% wool, 20% cashmere. Yeah, made in Italy. So, um, this is considered a DK, I do believe. Is that granite or cinder rose? Cinder, cinder, cinder rose. rose is the color. It does have 
flex in it as you can see i have a couple other colors of this at here that i bought when it was full price i haven't used yet but it feels good i like it a lot what's the reg on this the reg is it was 7.99 pounds let's see how much that is i don't know i love rowan so much Yes. Oh, oh, wait, wait. These were 11. 11 15. Used to be 11 15 a piece. And now. 5.54. They're 5.54. So, half price. Is that about right? Almost half price. Not a lot, but let me see that one. What do you mean, not so a lot? Let me see what all the hype's about, babe. Yeah, the flex are nice. They're in there good. Not going to come off. It's very soft. Colors are good. You love it that much? Would you have paid the original price for it? Yeah, I got I got like three of these 10 packs here that I paid the original price oh for. Oh my goodness. Three 10 packs? And I gave a pack, 10 pack away in a giveaway that I paid the original price for. I was going to go to college until she discovered yarn. Shut up. Now all I know is yarn. That was a while ago I paid the original price. But since I saw it on sale, I thought it was a good deal. Here's some that more. is a good deal. Here's some more Rowan they had on, on if sale. You, if you're used to paying 11 bucks, that is definitely a good deal. <sighs> some of it well, is cheaper than, I mean, it's more than 11 in, at some places. What kind of Rowan is that there? This is Rowan Cotton Cashmere, which I have cashmere. used this, and I've made, I have a beautiful white shawl that is on my channel I've made out of it. Um, so only certain colors of this was on sale. It just depended. I really like it. Like I said, I've already used it. I have a tutorial on it. Is it's that pretty yarn. Tulip or coral spice? Um, this is called. This is made in Italy. Excuse me. Go up. That's those not it. None of those. Go not to the clearance ladies? section. I don't know where the clearance section is. Right there. Oh, okay. Vintage, Vintage bloom. bloom. Yeah, mm. that's pretty. I like that pink. Nice. It is. 125 meters or 137 yards, 50 grams, 85 cotton, and 15 cashmere made in Italy. Made in Italy. Like I said, uh, it's a DK, DK weight, so it's a lightweight three. And like I said, I, I did use it. I do like it. 11.79 for that ball. No, that's the unclearanced ones. Oh. Clicked on that bad, one. My bad. That's what they are originally. 5.54, okay. But now they're on clearance for five. 122 left in stock of that color. 54. Or is that just all of them? That's how many they have left in stock. Oh, and well. then they're discontinued. Yeah. Mm. So. Okay, this is a row that I never hot. had before and I wanted to try it. It's their Mako cotton. Um, I like Mako cotton. It's baby cotton. Mako, Mako. Row and Mako baby. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for baby though. Oh. I don't like it when they label yarns for baby and stuff. It doesn't have to be for baby. They just kind of think they do that because of the colors. I think they do it to give the baby a chance to try some of the yarn too. How much they is know it? How, you guys how much are. is it on the rig? Regular, Shawls regular. Okay, on the rig. Let's see. Rowan Mako cotton. I've never had this before. 50 grams. It's 63% cotton, 37% lye. So, um, is that which, pure white? Yeah. Which is uh, Lysol is made from the pulp of certain types of trees. It could be uh, bamboo or it can be eucalyptus. Um, mm. Interesting. Made in Italy. I like it. 100, 100 meters? 100 meters or 109 yards. So this is a chain spun and it appears to be about a thick four weight yarn. Nice. $3.46. $3.46. How much was it regular? It was regularly $9.99 in pounds. So yes, it was it was 70% off this stuff was. Wow. $13.94 regular. $13.94 regular. And it was what did how much did I pay for it again? You paid $3.46. $3.46. You Amazing. know that is it's that is a good deal for Rowan. And Mako cotton is nice. It feels a little different than regular cotton. This okay. is chain. I've never uh Ooh. This is a chain spun Mako. It feels make a like nice a t shirt, kind of like yeah. a really soft t shirt, is yeah, what it feels like. I like that. I like that a lot. You wouldn't have to wear something underneath that for sure. I can't buy no more yarn though. But if I you could. You can't buy no more yarn? No, I can't. But if I could. Use up your budget. What's the date? Oh, the 29th, so. 
I only can't. I have a budget, and I'm sticking to it because of. I need. We need to get Clark's fence. But mm. if I could, I would definitely get more of that. I highly recommend that. Any of these uh, row ones actually are good prices. Um, okay, some of this. This was row one also. This was on sale. Never had this row one before. Mm. How do you say that? Sultano. Sult Sultano fine. Made with silk, mohair, and cashmere. 50 grams. Um, 225 meters or 246 yards of a lightweight number three is I think is what they classified this as. 28% mohair, 54% silk, 18% cashmere. Is yep. that the right one? Mm -hmm. Man, that's so pretty. It's nice. Holy moly. Uh, that's their lightweight three. Um, and it's chain spun. It's a thick. It's one of those. That is like super soft super silky soft this was a good deal too i think it was about half price um well it was eighteen dollars and four cents but it was regular eighteen dollars and four cents a hank but it was regular wait, wait 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 yeah regular 41 regular 41 85 a hank now that is a killer deal they only have three colors left um, the colors are sangria, I raisin, got, and shell. I got the sangria. I wanted, yeah. I was going to get that shell. I couldn't decide. It's, I like this one. I do too. And I thought cool. three was enough. I think I'm going to make a pretty cow or a scarf with it. It's what so, it? so. Oh, oh, pretty good yardage, huh? Hmm. They have it in a bigger, with thicker weight, like a bulky, but I don't know. This, this seems like it's just fine for me. Feel that, babe. I feel it, yes. Feel it again. I feel that, thanks. That is a deal on that, isn't it? <laughs> it is a deal. If you're used to paying that much, then yeah, it's a killer deal. Oh my gosh, that is a killer deal. It's really nice. It's got a couple little fuzz balls in it. Okay. Now, my another one of my top favorite branded yarns is the WYS West Yorkshire. Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Yorkshire is my English accent. West Yorkshire Spinners. Bo Peep Pure. That light is. It's 100% uh, Falkland. Falkland Island Wool. Falkland Island Wool is natural, sustainable, beautifully soft, and perfect for lovingly handcrafted garments and accessories. It's pure luxury, it says. It is pretty soft. That's a nice soft for being 100% wool. The color it's is dandelion. A, dandelion, yep. Um, it's a DK 112 right? uh, 112 meters, meters yeah. 122 yards, hand wash, lay flat, of course, 100% wool. $9.01. $9.01. Worth every penny, but... Only eight in stock. You yeah. know what? They actually have this at Little Knits for cheaper, and I didn't know that until I, after I purchased this. But, that's okay. Because I only got one color of it here. Well, I bought more colors at Little Knits. Oh, you've already done this. <laughs> I don't pass up a wet West Yorkshire, Yorkshire Spinner, Yorkshire Spinner, though, ever. You can't pass, well, if you have a favorite brand. I'll remember that next time I see one. Here's some I'll more. already know that it's to expect it in the mail. Here's some more uh, West, York, West, Illustrious. West Yorkshire spinners. I'm trying to say that right, but I'm so used to saying Yorkshire, I apologize. Illu I can't say that. Illustrious. Illustri Illustrious. Illustrious. 70% 70 Falkland wool, 30% British alpaca. Made in uh, England. Um, this is Naturals. 100 gram Hank. The color I have here is called Pewter. 225 yards or 245 meters you know don't uh you can dry but don't put or you can wash it but don't put it in the dryer this is beautiful i love wash your spinner so much i have a lot of their yarn it's all so pretty but again remember i'm a wool lover look at that that is so pretty what weight did they say it is dk, DK yeah. it's dk i want to agree with them on that dk 1387 for that Worth every penny to me. Oh, that's beautiful. Thirteen hundred and eighty-seven pennies. It's okay, worth it. this was some hand dyed uh, from a company that I never um, 
heard of before. And my gosh, that is pretty. I wish I would have got more than one. Excellent. That one is really pretty. Oh, this one Holy too. crud. Let me see this one. Those are pretty. Okay, this is called uh, fiber, fiber. Vivacious. This, no, right here. Oh, fiber spades. Fiber spades. Luxury fiber spades. Dic dictatious DK. Okay, I've never had this brand. And it is 100% superwash wool, superwash merino wool. Uh, 230 meters or 251 yards of a DK, which is a lightweight number three. Every skein is unique, like all hand dyed is always unique. I don't think the. It's very squishy. It feels like a superwash merino, like many I've felt before. It smells like superwash merino, like many I've smelt before. <laughs> This color is called Burnished. Ooh, that might call. That's one of my favorite colors right there. That's so pretty. You know what they say. What? It smells like merino. And it looks like merino looks and like, feels, feels like, like merino. merino. It probably, probably is. is merino. How much? Hold on, I'm looking for it. Vivacious right here. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it was pretty sweet. $24.98. So $25. It's for a hand dyed. That's about spot on for a hand dyed. That's usually about what they. I think I always think between twenty and thirty dollars is, is that pretty good for burnished. Is that oh it's burnished? Uh, it pretty like you know a average price for a hand dyed uh, merino wool. Anyways, that's beautiful. This one is another color. It's so pretty. That's a common price anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Vivacious. Where at? Where at? Verde gray. Verde gray. Verdigre? Verdigra, probably. Very, Verdigre. very beautifully hand dyed. Oh, that's gorgeous. Well, Verde is green, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty old. It's got browns in it, too. Look at that. That's beautiful yarn. This one is my absolute favorite. This one is mm. called Halloween. I actually thought it was going to be black and orange, but it's actually brown and orange. Barely. It's like burnt, huh? Yeah, I want to get some more of this, but I'll have to wait till next next month. It's really cool. That is so pretty. Wow. It reminds me of the I'm candies that you get that are wrapped in the orange wrapper. Yeah. Like on Halloween, you know. They give you those. A chick stick? Cheap, a chico candy. stick? No, the little taffies like, um, oh. you know, the black, the brown ones and the orange ones that are in your Halloween basket every single year. They're the cheap ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peanut yeah. butter things? Yeah, whatever those are. I don't know what they are. I don't either. Peanut mm -hmm. buttery. I don't really eat those. I don't, I don't <laughs> even like peanut butter unless it's got chocolate around it. Mm. <clears throat> okay, those are very pretty. Very worth every penny for a hand dyed, in my opinion. Okay, so this was sure? new from Stylecraft. DK or double knitting summer breeze. This is the only color they had. Does that one smell like that? Let me smell that. You pull it out. I smelled some pretty fibery smell. I can't even smell these. Maybe it's this wool here. It might be. One of them smells Oh, it's some more West Sharks fire shirts. West Yorkshire. Starcraft there. Summer Breeze. Okay. This is made in Turkey. 100 grams. It is 73% premium acrylic, 27% cotton, 260 meters, 284 yards of a DK, lightweight number three. Sheen wash, tumble dry. The color I have is called Midnight. $4.85 and it has been discontinued, so. It's gone. This is the only color they had. I guess I wasn't the only one shopping that night because they had more when I left. I only bought three. But it's pretty. I like the way it's... Since it's uh, discontinued, I probably won't... I'll probably put it in a giveaway eventually. I try not to use too many discontinued yarns in my tutorials. But sometimes I do. Okay. Well, if they're not common colors, you know, like... You might not be able to find a yarn like this that matches mm, That's That's probably what you smell, that West Yorkshire shirt. Sure. That is the one. <laughs> Ooh, Straight from good. the farm. What is wool, right? It smells good. Holy woolly. Reared, sheared, and spun in Britain. West Yorkshire Spinners Chunky Roving Retreat. 100% blue faced Carry Hill. Yeah, it's blue faced because people can't breathe in there. What are you talking about? This smells good. I don't like, know. oh, it smells like wool. Now, this is a type of wool that you would be good for making hats. Probably not skin or felting. I don't know. Or making a sweater out of that you would want want to wear a shirt underneath it. Is this it right here? That's not it, is it? What was it called again? <laughs> Retreat. Retreat. 
140 meters or 153 yards. The color I have here is called a door and it's a roving style and I'm going to say it's a four weight. Is this not the pounder? It's right there, the very first one. No, it's pa oh, pounder. pounder. That's just a color name. Yeah, yeah, I realize that now. Oh. I thought it said pounder for a second. You're off cam, babe. My bad. We got to get through this. We got to make this under 901. 901. 901 a ball. Did you already read all the stuff to it? I wasn't yeah. paying attention. Okay. What color is that one? A door. A door. A door. Yeah. Okay. This was on clearance. Whew. West Yorkshire Spinners Fusions. Fusions. They have two Ooh. colors, a brown and a purple. I have the brown, and the purple was always sold out, but they got the purple back in, so I bought the purple. Um, so it's made in uh, West York, made in Yorkshire, England. Uh, yeah, seventy-five percent wool, twenty-five percent nylon, two hundred meters, two hundred nineteen yards. Five dollars and fifty-four cents. Ooh, is that how? On clearance, is how much it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, coffee cream and moorland mix. This Which one's one moorland mix. It's beautiful and it's purple. I love it. It's like a four weight roving. Yeah, thinner four, but that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Got? Same kind? It's all nice. Are these the same? Yep. Oh, they're all so nice. What you got, babe? I'm almost done. We only have a few minutes left. I know. Okay, so this was on clearance for, this is the Tibet. Stylecraft, Stylecraft Tibet. Tibet. I never had this before, never heard of it before, never seen it before. Thought it was cool looking, so. Uh, so you snatched it up. So I snatched it up because it was relatively inexpensive. And at that price point, how could you pass it? And I like, I like chunky and bulky weight yarns. 72 wool, 20 acrylic, 8% nylon. Oh, 35 meters, 38 yards, hand washed, do not dry. $1.37. $1.37. Super chunky weight. This is a, a number six weight, uh, color magenta. As you can see, it's got black, well, dark purple bumps in it. So. And they have three colors, rosebud, magenta, and blueprint. They're out of blueprint. We've got two colors. Right? Oh, yeah. When I first seen these, I had a whole bunch of colors, so now they just knocked it down. But anyways, it feels... Oh. It was okay. It was okay. Well, it's a little grabby, isn't it? Not too bad. It's just the way it's wound. I think I'd make some hats out of that or something. Anyways, got that. And then... Okay, that's nothing. Some more Tibet. That's just some pink Tibet. And then I got this one right here. Um, all no, sorts? No, that's not it. Sure. Is it? it is, yeah, all yeah. sorts. Okay. This was on plants too. I never heard of it, never seen it. Thought it looked kind of cool. Oh, it is kind of cool looking. Stylecraft all sorts. Stylecraft all sorts. Super chunky. Super chunky. It's chain spun, 68 acrylic, 18 wool, 14 nylon, um, 50 yards, machine wash, do not dry. $1.37. $1.37. The color you have is mischief. Suits you. And mischievous, aren't you? I paid less than that. Well, this says it is one dollar and thirty-seven cents. Okay. Anyways, it's chain spun, as you can see, mm -hmm. but then it's got little bumps of color in it. That's kind of cool. I like it's stretchy. Maybe good for like a kid's sweater or something, or somebody that likes a lot of color. That's stretchy. That's neat. It's stretchy. I got it in pink too. How many colors? Oh, they only had the two colors, yes. It's cool. Not pink. Purple. Wait, no, does this little ashes mean they're out? Yeah. Let me only have one. Oh. Agra. I got this purple color too with. That's the agra. I think it's neat. And like I said, it's stretchy. Make a cool looking scarf or something. Okay, that's all I got. Now you can, uh, they have code that you can use at West, or. West Yorkshire? At Wool Warehouse? Wool Warehouse. That will get you, I think. 20% off maybe SC 30 or SC 10 one of those two um or maybe SC 20 any of those three oh try try them and um if it's 20% then it's probably SC 20 okay well yeah. SC yeah okay but it won't take it off clearance prices but it will take it off like 
hand dyed and, and uh, anything that's not on clearance that I bought, I got that. Uh, use the code. Use the code and got the 20% off. So Righteous. that's Righteous. it. Hope you guys enjoyed and hit up some of those sellers. There's a lot more on sale. Some of these were killer deals, man. I got to get some more of this next month. Awesome. You mean in like two days? Next month. No, I done blew my August budget too. What? What are you going to do for August? Jones out all month? Yeah, Jones and out all month. She all right. Phone going, <laughs> got new yards. <laughs> no, and I have to turn the internet off. It's true. Just kidding. All right, we're going to. It's true. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go. We will uh, see you guys. I hope you guys have fun listening to him ramble. All right. <clears throat> I'll yeah. put the link below to the wool warehouse. It's not it's not affiliated or anything, just It just gets you there. It just takes you there and And then takes all your money. Yeah. Alright. Bye guys. Bye. Love you guys.